Hello, this is the second video in the Sending Mail with SendGrid series. And in this one, we're going to get started interacting with the SendGrid API through Postman. So maybe you're not familiar with Postman. Postman is basically just an HTTP client. So SendGrid has a REST API, and REST APIs are things that you interact with using HTTP. And Postman is just a tool that lets you send the get and post and, and different um, HTTP requests to a server and test out the responses. So if you've never used Postman or if you don't have it installed, go ahead and download Postman and install it. You'll need to create a, an account. It's a really good tool. And you can pause the video here and once that's done, come back and I'm gonna walk you through making a few basic requests so that we can understand how to interact with the SendGrid API and also read their documentation. Okay, so here we are in Postman and the first thing I like to do is create a new collection. So I will add collection. We could just do a blank collection and then let's give it a name. I'll just rename it to huh, SendGrid. Look, I can type. All right, so within that, let's go ahead and add a request. So this is gonna be a get request to our API. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna copy and paste in a request as an example. So if we look at the SendGrid documentation, there's this uh, how to use the SendGrid V3 API article, which is nice, and it shows how you start with requests and that they all begin with api.sendgrid.com slash v3. So that's what I've got in there. And I just happen to know that there's an endpoint called designs, a resource called designs that we can get. So I'm not going to go into what designs are, but let's just test this out. We'll click send. And look, it failed. 401 unauthorized authorization required in the response. So if we go back to the documentation and we look at errors, you can see that they provide nice documentation of the error, error codes, including 401 requires authentication. So this is where our API comes into play. So we'll go back to Postman, we'll switch to the authorization tab, and we'll choose bearer token. Now it has remembered my token from before, but what you'll need to do is you're gonna to need to paste your token in right here. And now, if we resend this request, it ought to work. Fantastic. We got our result, which has the list of designs. So designs are part of the SendGrid marketing API, which I'm really not gonna go into. That's a whole other realm. But one of the things that we are gonna use in a later video are what's called templates. So I'm gonna do another get here, and I'm just gonna paste it in. And let me show you the API documentation on this one. So if we scroll down and we choose templates, transactional templates, we can see the methods that, that have to do with templates. And what I wanna do is retrieve paged transactional templates. And the most important thing here is that it tells us how to format our query string to get the results we need. So back in Postman, you can see I've done api.sendgrid.com, v3 templates, generations equals dynamic. So this is the kind of template that I'm using and a page size of 18, which I think might be the max, I'm not sure. So we'll click send. And now you can see in the result, I've got some JSON which lists out the various templates. So for example, this template here called test template one is the one that we're gonna use in some later videos to send some mail. Okay, so that is the basics for how you interact with, in general, with a REST API via a tool like Postman, and then specifically how we can get in and talk to the SendGrid API. Now we're ready to start doing some real stuff. So in the next video, we're actually going to send some messages.